This is an urgent update for all crypto traders and investors alike. The Bitcoin price is now flirting with dropping below the $40,000 region. And if this happens, is it possible that a drop to $20,000 is potentially in the cards? Let's dive in and analyze. Now, if you are subscribed to this channel, then you would know that we were closely following this pennant pattern formation that I'm drawing on your screen right now. You could see that the Bitcoin price broke out, but it wound up being a fake out. And this is exactly the type of action that you see in bear markets. Fake outs to the upside, only to then be met with flush, heinous drops back to the downside. And as you can see here, Bitcoin is trading within a pretty well-defined channel. Three well-defined touch points along the top, two well-defined touch points along the bottom. Is Bitcoin going to trade back down to this trend line? Only time will tell, but right now here on my chart, it looks to be around 37,000 where we could possibly look to see more support come back in if Bitcoin is to drop down towards that range. I'm not saying that Bitcoin will drop down to that range. I'm just stating watch out for potential support of this parallel channel down at about 37,000. Let's get this crypto. And while we're on the subject of this parallel channel, I just want you all to keep in mind that this still could very well be a massive, gigantic bear flag. Notice we still have a well-defined flagpole to the downside. And it's possible that right now this does wind up being an upward sloping flag, right? So if we do actually take the size of the flagpole down and extrapolate it over to a potential breakdown point, we'll just put it somewhere around here for now. I mean, obviously, folks, the measurements here, are, they're borderline unrealistic. Just understand here that if we were to see this type of bear flag play out, this would be the type of pattern that looking back in hindsight, you just say, wow, this is the largest Bitcoin bear flag in history. And to me, it's still a possibility. Now, if we are to lose this upward sloping line of support here, which I just outlined earlier, we still luckily do have the saving grace range of potential support down here, basically between 31,000 and 28,000. You can see it saved us here back in early 2021. It saved us again in late 2021, mid to late 2021. Now here in 2022, we haven't really tested all the way down into this range. If we do, in my opinion, Bitcoin has to hold there. The bulls must step back in because if we drop below there, folks, wow, this could actually, in my opinion, be the capitulation range, but below 28,000. And obviously, from a historical standpoint, the only next level of historic support is down at about 20,000. Just take a look here, folks. There's not much built in there. It essentially was a straight line up after we broke through 20,000. And when you're back testing that to the downside, that actually can be quite scary as there's just nothing built in here. And even if we flip over to the weekly time frame, you can see it even better, right? Over the course of a few weeks here, there was no consolidation, there was nothing. So if we are to break below this range, I mean, you could theorize that it's possible that we get this type of action to the downside, right? And then look to possibly find some bullish support back down around 20K. I just wanted to set the stage here before we start to look at indicators and things of that nature, just to give you guys an idea overall of what I'm seeing here. And if you are enjoying thus far, if you could hit the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm, thank you for that. And if you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe, tick the little bell and select all so you don't miss any more of the most realistic and most must see Bitcoin analysis on YouTube. YouTube. Welcome to the channel. Now, I'd like to show you this data here. This is the Google Trends data for several crypto related search terms. And you can see that we're still in a downtrend amongst all of these search terms, right? I mean, nothing really here is screaming that there's exuberance in this space. In fact, it more so looks like the exuberance is deflating on a day to day slash week to week slash month to month basis. 
And when we start to look at indicators on the weekly time frame, such as the Williams alligator, which had a bearish cross all the way back here in early 2022, the green line crossing below both the red and the blue with the trading action underneath all of the bands. Now, this is not looking healthy in my opinion. If we pull up here the true strength indicator, the TSI, you could see that we had our bearish cross all the way back in late 2021 when this original sell-off began. And right now, even though we were close to a possible turn to the upside there, right now it has flat line. We are still below this middle line here, this dashed median line, which inherently means that the trading action has been more bearish than bullish overall. Still nothing changing there. If we take a look at the technical ratings indicator here, this is combining several oscillators and moving averages together to give you an all-in-one type of reading. Just take a look here, folks, right? This massive bull run back in 2021, all of this blue bullish momentum the whole way right? And then we started to see some red and it failed. Then we started to rally again. All of this blue here, right? Notice consecutive blue candles, one after the other after the other. Now in our current environment, this is not the case at all. And in fact, this fake out here with the two blue candles, that was it. And we, we've gone back to red here. So to me, the action we're seeing right now in the present day is very, very different than what we saw on this bull run here. And of course, the 2021 bull run there. Right now, with seeing the bears step back in and say, nah, nah, little Jimmy and your $600 stimmy. This is quite concerning for me, ladies and gentlemen, from a bullish perspective. You have to understand that we're still below our old all-time high, we still could possibly be in a gigantic bearish head and shoulders pattern, right? Don't forget, right? This could be left shoulder. This could be the head right there. And anything underneath a left shoulder, which right here is at about 65,000, really anything underneath there that would get rejected could still be a valid potential head and shoulders pattern with a neckline right down here. I mean, all the way in my trap door range. So folks, until Bitcoin proves to us that it's got something going for itself here, uh, the trend right now from a macro perspective, in my opinion, still could be bearish overall. Now, this range has just been a bunch of nonsense. You know, if you are subscribed to this channel, that this has largely been a no trade range here for me. I did wind up briefly speculating long in here. I am out of that now. I am no longer speculating to the upside for the short term right now at this very moment. Uh, in fact, I'm just awaiting to see what happens here, really. I mean, this range has just been brutal, folks. Uh, the price has really not moved anywhere in two, I mean, really three months at this point. The price is just still in the same general area. And all this chop has done is chew traders up and spit them right back out. Very, very difficult time here for Bitcoin. And we're going to have to see what happens. Do you think that this is going to be one gigantic bear flag to the downside? Leave me a comment down below. Do you think that this is going to possibly wind up resolving to the upside, breaking through the resistance up at about 55K? I mean, for me right now, all eyes are on this 37K range, the upward sloping potential trend line support of this parallel channel. But if we break, watch out for the possibility of a bear flag breakdown. If, of course, we can get above here, right, create a new higher high, well, this could possibly look to negate the bear flag looking structure here. And then we could start to talk about the possibility of climbing to a new all time high. Let's get this crypto. And really, that's all I have for you right now, folks. To me, Bitcoin, it's just been boring. The, the range that we've been in here. It's just not gone anywhere. There's no trend advancement, right? There's no advancement to the upside. There's no advancement to the downside. We've just been trading in the same general area over and over again for months. I've really not had much to update on. Of course, I will be back with another stream when there's more to talk about. But ladies and gentlemen, until we see some type of explosive break out of this range, it's very, very difficult uh, to just keep making videos day in and day out out talking about the Bitcoin price, which has really gone nowhere. 
I mean, unless we're going to start zooming in on the five minute time frame and go, oh, look, she went up. Oh, look, she went down. It does no good for anybody, in my opinion. Uh, I just don't see the value in creating Bitcoin price related content each and every day when on a macro level, the Bitcoin price is stuck in stalemate territory. Let's get this crypto. I hope you understand. I have not been posting as frequently for that specific reason. Hopefully, Bitcoin begins to find that volatility again here, folks. And I don't mean the up and down V shapes over and over, V shape up, reverse V shape down. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real trend movements, real advancements to the upside or to the downside. Not little soup in a sandwich, V shape up, V shape down, da 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 da, -da right? You get the picture. So of course, don't miss my next upload. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for the algorithm, subscribe, tick the little bell and select all that will give you the notification next time I upload. And of course, if you're not already in my VIP, that is where I post all of my real time trade setup ideas, strategy ideas, entry ideas, potential take profit ideas, everything just like that, exclusively in real time as the Don looks to potentially strike gold again. So if you're not already in my VIP, Today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. And with that being said, the Don has spoken. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. Oh, and before I forget, don't fall for any of the fake Kirby accounts posting down in the comment section. They create fake accounts with a nearly identical username and logo to mine. Then they reply to your comments with phone numbers and email addresses trying to get you to contact them. You can see several examples on your screen right now. Do not contact these people. So here's how you can verify that it's my actual real account. It's very simple. When you're watching a video on my channel, my real account will always have a gray nameplate behind my name. I also have a verified check mark from YouTube. And just to make it even more obvious that it's me, I always leave a creator heart on my comments. Only the channel owner can leave a creator heart. So if you see the heart plus the gray background and the verified check mark, you know that it's me. If you don't see those things, then it's obviously a fake account. It's as simple as that. They're also creating fake accounts over on Telegram now. So if you are ready to become a VIP, do not go on Telegram and search Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP. You're going to find all fake results. My group is private. When you search that in the search bar, you're getting public results. They're all fake. They're all imposters. So if you're ready to join VIP, the only way to do so is to click the link either in the pinned comment or in the description of my video. If you search for Crypto Kirby or Crypto Kirby VIP anywhere else, you're going to be getting in contact with a fake. Only use the links in either the pinned comment or the description of my official video. Stay safe and stay smart, my friends. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational and entertainment purposes and is not to be construed as a recommendation, solicitation, or an offer to buy or sell any securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, or any related financial instruments, nor should any of its content be taken as investment advice. Crypto Kirby is not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are completely speculative opinions and do not guarantee any specific result or profit. Trading and investing is extremely high risk and can result in the loss of all of your capital. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice. Crypto Kirby is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. Crypto Kirby may have an interest in securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. Crypto Kirby accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. Crypto Kirby recommends that you consult with a license and qualified professional before making any investment or trading decisions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.